Maybe Mark Trammell. We introduced some people from Arkansas. Let me introduce another young man from Arkansas. Mark has been with us for nine years, the Cathedral Quartet. Longest nine years I ever spent. <laughs> You know, you know what? Before I introduce Mark, every time, every time I look around at Glenn, I happen to think about something. Well, look around somewhere else. Don't look around. <laughs> Let me share this with you. Glenn lives kind of out in the country. We went by to pick him up just before we left on this trip, and Glenn was out in his yard waiting on the bus to get there. Well, Glenn lives on a... <laughs> Glenn lives on a little country... I'm going to tell it. And... Uh, there's a guy turned on the road just in front of the bus in a, in a sports car. Well, the road's small. Once you get on Glen Street you don't, Road, you don't turn around for a while, you know. Well, he kept looking behind and saw the bus behind him, and he knew he couldn't back up, but we knew that he knew he was on the wrong road. And we live about 30 miles from Cleveland, Ohio. And so when he passed Glen Street, well, he realized it was one of the places to turn around, so he stopped when he saw Glenn up in the yard. He didn't bother to pull in Glenn's drive. He just leaned across, rolled down the window, hollered up at Glenn, <laughs> hollered up at Glenn in the yard and said, Hey, buddy, how do you get to Cleveland from here? And Glenn hunkered down and hollered back and said, Well, my son usually takes me. <laughs> That ain't got a thing to do with this song. I just thought you all know that. <laughs> 